Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Hi. teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Hi, too. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Doing well. Thank God. Well, welcome. Let's try to move this. Yes, very good, very good. Welcome, welcome to our class number two. Good evening. Yes, people say good evening on the chat too. If you want to write good evening, you say good evening, everybody. How are you? I hope you had a good, a good week, a good Friday. Say something, a nice message on the chat, okay? Now you have one minute to write something nice on the chat. Good evening. Hello, everybody. Whatever you want to say, okay? Say something nice on the chat. Somebody says, yes, Mr. Giovanni Elias Garcia Flamenco says, good evening. Good evening. I'm very good teacher, I think. Say. Yes, now you have, actually, you have happy faces. You can say a nice message on the chat, okay? While we wait for the rest of the students to incorporate. Let's see. Nice message, nice message on the chat, please. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. How was your week? How are you? How are you doing? Algo nice que le quieran escribir a sus partners en el chat, lo pueden escribir en este momento. You can use the chat. Busquen la burbujita que está ahí abajo. ¿Qué dice el chat? Ah, hi. Mr. Mejía says hi. That's good. Vamos a ver quién más. Igual ahí ustedes pueden poner las caritas, las emojis. How you doing? How you feel? What a great week. What a nice day. I hope you are fine. I hope you're... I'm happy to receive classes with you. Yes, nice. Hello. Somebody else says hello. Yes, I'm reading. I'm reading your chat, okay? Okay, I'm happy to receive classes. How was your week, boys and girls? Nice. That's good. Answer, my week was great. My week was fantastic. My week was busy, tired, kind of stressful. <laughs> or I had a good week. My week was great, wonderful. Nice, okay? Awesome. Okay. Great. I have some messages now, okay? Good, good, good. My week was tired, especially today, this day. Uh, in my case, usually the week is good. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but Thursday and Friday? Terrible, <laughs> really busy. Okay, my week was wonderful actually living in Italy. Oh my God, that's awesome. Okay, my week was happy. Mm -hmm. Nice, good evening, my friends. Mr. Garcia says, oh, Mr. Mejia, I guess. Oh no, Mr. Garcia, Jose Garcia, okay. Great. Good job. Good job. Well, this is our class number two. <laughs> yes, our class number two. Uh huh. How many people? We have 15 people in the class. Welcome. Let's see. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the second class. I'm going to start sharing the screen for you to be able to see what we have for the class today. Let me do it. Let me do it. The whole page. One minute. I need to hold on. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Usually have this interference. Okay. Well. Today is our class number two, so welcome to our class. Objective for today's class. Review vocabulary related to month and date. 
es el vocabulario que vimos ayer. Review significa repasar. Review vocabulary related to month and date. Yesterday we studied the vocabulary about the month and date, right? So <clears throat> we uh, studied the vocabulary for the ordinal numbers. I would say first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and so on and so on. And the month. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, right? And of course, we're going to add affirmative and negative sentences with going to for the planned future. For this weekend, for example, for tomorrow, what are you going to do for tomorrow? What are you going to do tomorrow? What are you going to do on the weekend? Okay. So say affirmative and negative sentences you should be going to and describe how people celebrate different holidays. Yesterday we a little bit talk about holidays, right? Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas, Valentine's, vacation, Holy Week, vacation. So this type of holidays, okay? So these are the objectives. Time to talk. Llevo la hora de hablar. Time to talk about. ¿Qué recuerdan de ayer? Algo del vocabulary que recuerde. Something you remember. Uh -huh. Volunteers. Oh, no. No volunteers in this class. Impossible. <laughs> uh -huh. Lo que sea que recuerden de la clase de ella. Tell me. Um, yo, mm -hmm. good evening. Yes. Yeah. Fuimos, me acuerdo yo, los holiday days, eh, los meses, y a la Calverdice Day. Yes. Two. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We were talking about the month, the days, the holidays, the birth dates. Yes, exactly. That's nice. Very good. Somebody else? Alguien que, es, que quiera decir los months? Alguien que se atreva? Somebody. January, February. March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Bravo! That was good. Okay. Anything else? Alguien que nos quiera decir when is his or her birthday? My birthday is on... Uh, my birthday is on um, August 28th. August 28th. Mm -hmm. Wow. Nice. Somebody else? Uh -huh. Cuéntenos, when is your birthday? Tell me, tell me. It's a secret, teacher. <laughs> my birthday is on October 22nd, says... Gio, all right, Jamie. My birthday, my birthday is on February twenty-seven. Oh my God! <laughs> when is Jamie's birthday? Uh huh. Jamie's birthday is on February twenty-seven. That is next. My birthday is um, December um, um, uh, 14. 14. On December 14th. Yes. All right. Uh huh. Mr. Mejia. Hi, teacher. Hey. Good evening. Tell my, us. My birthday is um, September. 26. 26. Nice. Yeah. But Jamie's birthday is next Sunday. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay. What are you going to do? Are you going to celebrate? Are you going to have a party? Are you going to go to the beach? Are you going to eat cake? What are you going to do, Jamie? Uh, I prepare lunch uh -huh. but, uh, with my family you are going to have yeah. a special lunch with your family barbecue yes Ooh. carne asada you usually say Typical. barbecue yeah 
Barbecue. That sounds good. That sounds delicious. <laughs> okay. Yes. Happy birthday in advance. Yes. In, in February, there are a lot of birthdays. I know about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about 10 people whose birthday is in February. My brother, my nephew, four people in my job, two good friends. So a lot of people's birthday, a lot of people's birthday in February. Okay, somebody else, when is your birthday? We only know a few people mm -hmm. and the rest. Los que no han participado tienen que contarnos cuándo es su cumpleaños, either on the microphone or on the chat. Nadie se puede Hi. ayudar. Yes? Hi, teacher. Hello, tell us. My birthday is on November 7th. On November 7th. That's great. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. Marlene, go ahead. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello, Tell good, evening. Me. good evening. My birthday is March 11th. On oh, March 11th, mm, next um, month. I have three three people in my family. Whose birthday I is in March? Que cumplen años el mismo día que yo. <laughs> oh my God, that is a collective birthday in your family. Yes. <laughs> Somos four. <laughs> four people with the same birthday. March, yes, March 11th. Uh, you have a big party. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's really good. Wow, what a coincidence. Yes, <laughs> y, y hay una que cumple el March 10 y one que um, es March, um, que sería 12. 12. Yes. Oh my God. So it's six people. Yes. A lot of people's birthday in March. That's good. You have one celebration for everybody. <laughs> That's great. Somebody else? Somebody wrote on the chat, I think. It says, Jennifer, my birthday is in on June 22nd. Oof, on Teacher's Day. June 22nd is Teacher's Day. <laughs> okay. Somebody else? Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, How are you? I five. Um, stress, stress, stress. Stressful. <laughs> it was a difficult day. Okay. Yes. Uh, um, my birthday is on October 20th. October 20th. That's great. Miss Lorena Castillo says, my birthday is on March 15th. Damari says, my birthday is on June the 3rd. Daisy says, my birthday is on March the 26th. Oh, interesting. Uh-huh. Hi, teacher. Hey. Good evening. Good my evening. Birthday, my birthday is on April 29th. On April 29th. Nice. Great. Wonderful. Mr. William Liborio, when is your birthday? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, my birthday is December 26th. Oh, my God. Very near Christmas. Yes. So only one present. <laughs> Or Christmas or your birthday, <laughs> but not two presents, okay? That's nice. Okay, on December the 26th. Wonderful. Wonderful. Somebody has, hasn't participated? Alguien que no haya participado que quiere participar? Or we continue with the next activity? Tell me. Tell me now. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Nobody else? Nobody else. Okay, no problem. It's okay. It's all right. Okay. 
So this was the time to talk. As I was mentioning, okay, some holidays. Pero ayer solo dijimos como los dates o las fechas en las que se conmemoran o se celebran. Today we're gonna we're going to go a little bit ahead and ver un poquito más allá and say how, cómo se celebran, okay? So these are some of the holidays in the USA. Algunas van a tener que ser como por conocimiento general, ya es como por cultura general. So, holidays in the U.S., New Year's Day, Valentine's Day, Independence Day, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. Of course, Independence Day in the United States is the 4th of July or July 4th. Of course, in El Salvador is a different day, in Brazil is a different day, in every country is a different day. Only for Central America and Mexico is the same day, I think, right? So, how, how do you celebrate? Okay, ¿cómo se celebran? Aunque usted no la celebre, describa lo que ha escuchado, lo que ve, o lo que observa, o lo que sabe de cómo se celebran, yes? For example, do you celebrate January 1st, New Year's? Yes, we celebrate. Or no, we don't celebrate, but we observe. No celebramos, pero si vemos que otra gente hace esto, 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 esto. Yes? So, do you celebrate uh, New Year's Day? Yes, we cook a special food, we cook a special meat, or we clean the house, we decorate the house, we make a party. ¿Qué hacen? How do you celebrate New Year's Day? No me digan, don't worry. Guárdense la idea. Ya lo vamos a conversar con sus partners. Yo solo estoy dando ideas, ¿ok? For example, Valentine's Day. Do you celebrate Valentine's Day? How do you celebrate Valentine's Day? Well, sometimes I celebrate Valentine's Day in my job with my friends or with my husband, with my wife, with my boyfriend, with my girlfriend. We go to a restaurant. Uh, we give each other a gift. We give presents. We give chocolates. We buy flowers. I don't know. Okay? Todo lo que ustedes han observado, como la gente celebra cada uno de estos holidays. Esos dos is, are very common in El Salvador, so you have no, no excuses. Por lo menos de expresar algunas ideas, right? July 4th, maybe you can say, okay, I heard or I think, yo he escuchado, yo pienso que en los Estados Unidos, in the United States, they have a, a parade, they commemorate Independence Day with fireworks, People have picnics in the parks or people go to parties. But in El Salvador, Independence Day is on a different day. It's on September 15th. And we only, well, if you are an adult, if you have a job, probably you have the day off. You don't go to work on Independence Day. But for students, it's, Sometimes mandatory that they go to march in a parade at school with a band, with music, with folklorical music, with civic acts, right? That is, you can probably contrast how people celebrate Independence Day in the United States and Independence Day in El Salvador. For Halloween, probably you say, oh, we don't celebrate Halloween in El Salvador. But I have seen movies or I have seen on TV that in the United States on Halloween, they decorate the houses with uh, spooky figures, with uh, skulls, with witches, and all those decorations, right? The Thanksgiving Day is on the fourth Thursday in November. In the United States, people don't go to work. People have prepare a big dinner in their houses. People give thanks to God for all the blessings they have received. 
And in Christmas, probably you say in the United States, maybe there's not a big celebration. People only decorate their house, put the Christmas tree, put a lot of lights, decorate, probably uh, prepare a good dinner. But in El Salvador, people become crazy. There's a lot of business. The shopping malls are decorated for Christmas. And people decorate their houses, put the Christmas tree, prepare a nice meal, invite their friends, the family get together, or people put the nativity scene and all those stuff. Yes? Esto es como tratar de unir ideas, ¿ok? Yo ya digo un montón de ideas, so ustedes tienen que ser como más creative. No es que van a hablar todo lo que yo ya dije, pero algunas ideas, por lo menos two or three ideas de cada uno de los holidays. Yes? What are some other holidays in your country? What's your favorite holiday? Estas son otras cosas que podían hablar. Si sí, algunas se repiten, son las mismas, o se celebran en diferentes fechas. Por eso la question number three dice, What are some holidays in your country? Y la otra, What's your favorite holiday? Podría decir, Oh, my favorite holiday is Christmas because we are together in the family. We have a conversation, we pray, we decorate the house. No sé qué es lo que realmente sucede en sus, en sus families. ¿Hay alguna question de lo que vamos a hablar? ¿No? ¿Clear? ¿Yes? Vale, vamos a crear los breakout rooms y voy a mandar la misma imagen como lo hicimos la clase anterior en el grupo de WhatsApp como para que ustedes se puedan guiar y saber cuáles son las questions que tienen que Socializar en el grupo de trabajo. Yes, a speaking activity. Great. Okay, let's see. We're going to make five groups. Para que no queden tan poquitos. Oh, well, let's make four actually. And open all the rooms. Casi no escuché. Eh, vamos a hablar de cada uno de los meses que celebramos lo que nos acaba de mandar la teacher. Lo vamos a decir en okay. inglés, por ejemplo, January. Eh, do you celebrate any of this holiday? Or do you celebrate? Es que se escucha cortado. I'm sorry, yo estoy del celular y no logro ver muy bien. Y no puedo incluso ver la imagen porque como el celular es lo que estoy ocupando. Quizás solo lo voy a escuchar. Espérate. No sé si alguien la tiene por ahí. No la hay.
Hello. Hi, teacher. Es Tell que... Me. Dígame. No podemos compartir la imagen para realizar el ejercicio. Sí, ¿se las puedo compartir acá? Por favor, please. All right, en el chat, honestly, déjenme ver si se puede. Where's the window? Mm. Se las convertí en el grupo de WhatsApp. Uh, fortunately, aquí en el chat de, de, de Zoom no se pueden compartir imágenes. Pero les puedo escribir las questions. Yes. That's that help. Eso les ayudaría. Sí, teacher. Okay. Okay, let me see. How do you celebrate the holidays? Oh, yes, I is, alguien lo está compartiendo ya. Perfect. Okay, very good. What's your favorite Valentine's Day? My favorite, my favorite holiday is no, George. Ah. And my favorite holiday is December twenty five. What's your favorite independence day? Nosotros no celebramos. Pero, but, but my family in the United States, yes, it's um, a party muy grande. <laughs> My family, in my car, in my case, my family, my family is, uh, um, se reúne, ¿cómo sería la palabra? Meeting. <laughs> Every year uh, together, um, my family comes to the United States, come here and celebrate with my niece, my uncle, my mom, my sister, my brother-in-law, and yes. eating yes. so much. We, we celebrate Christmas with children, with my son, in family. Okay. Uh, Marixa ya no me contó. Sí. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, December 25. 
Sí, ¿verdad? Así es. Twenty fifth, ¿verdad? Sí. Twenty fifth. Uh, how do you celebrate? ¿Cómo, cómo lo celebran? Uh, holy day. It's uh, Christmas day. Um, Valentine's Day. Uh, and you? My favorite holiday is my birthday in January. <laughs> um, uh, Christmas. And Valentine's Day. Okay. Y los demás, Tatiana, William. My favorite holiday is Christmas and New Year Day. Okay. And William, your favorite. Holiday? My favorite holiday is Christmas. Christmas, okay. And your birthday? Six. Okay. Una fiesta. I celebrate my big day with a party. How do you celebrate um, New Year? Hello. Ajá, ¿cómo nos fue la conversación? <laughs> Tell me. Happy. Happy. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Fine. Great. Okay. Bad. Bad. Terrible. <laughs> Not so good. Okay. That worked. Nah. I heard you were trying. Ustedes lo están intentando, and that's what matters, okay? So, favorite holidays y cómo lo celebra. For example, one of my favorite holidays definitely is Christmas because we celebrate with the family, we get together, we visit um, my parents, my brothers, my cousin. Well, my nieces and nephews, we, we have a big meeting in my parents' house. My parents are very happy. They decorate the house. They play uh, Christmas songs. They sing Christmas carols, Christmas songs. And we have a big celebration in the house. So it is an important holiday for the family. So anybody else? I celebrate at long. You celebrate alone. Why? It's a joke. Okay. Say it's a joke. Why do you why do you say that joke? You don't celebrate alone. You you celebrate or you don't celebrate? Huh? Fue lo más fácil que pude formular. No, of course no. No, but really, do you celebrate or you don't celebrate any holiday? Mm. 
Uh -huh. Some days. Some. Some of the holidays. Okay. So, which is your favorite? Do you have any favorite holiday? No? No tienen que ser tímidos. Just My say. favorite holiday is Christmas. Mm -hmm. And how because they celebrate. celebrity with family, mm -hmm. with my son, my husband, we uh, drink, uh -huh. we dancing, we... Do you buy new clothes? How do you say, hacemos, hacemos una, una oración a las doce? We pray, we pray God. We at pray God. Uh -huh. Okay. Do you buy new clothes? Do you put the Christmas tree? Do you decorate the house? Do you put Christmas lights? The microphone, Miss Gonzalez. <laughs> Yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, teacher. Tell me. I speak alone. <laughs> I know, because of the microphone. Uh -huh. Yes, teacher. I love decorating my house. Me too. <laughs> I am crazy about decoration for everything. For birthdays, for Christmas, for other holidays, I always decorate. <laughs> I am. I am. I too. Me too. <laughs> okay. Me too. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. No problem. You can say I am crazy about decorations too. Yes. Yes. Okay. Somebody else. Nice. Good job. No tenga pena. You don't have to be shy to participate. Okay. I never decorate. You never decorate the house. No. For any occasion. No. <laughs> okay. Do you have a favorite holiday? All right, Miss Nidia. Okay. Este, my favorite holiday is a uh, Christmas. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, birthday. It's uh, my birthday. It's a uh, birthday. My son. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, February. Uh, Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. uh, pizza, nice. Good job. Good job. Awesome. Good try. Very good. Okay. Jacqueline wants to speak. She wants to participate. <laughs> go, Jacqueline. Go. Hello. Hello. My favorite and uh, celebrate my uh, is a very very for for tea mm -hmm. and Christmas Merry Christmas mm -hmm. also um birthday my son mm -hmm. birthday mom and your day my father mm -hmm. you like to celebrate because. your family's birthdays uh -huh. because why because i no reunim, ¿cómo se dice? we get together or we meet we together mm -hmm. we meet in, in family mm -hmm. in, in, and you dance, you sing, uh, you eat. Uh, dinner and uh, dinner. Uh, que a uh, recordar memories. Tiempos. <laughs> okay, memories. memories. Uh -huh. este, I full full house and ah, a big celebration. Sobrinos, <laughs> nietos. <laughs> a lot of people. <laughs> Visit a nice. uh, grandmother. I visit my grandmother and grandfather. Where? In my house. Uh, in what yes. city? 
En San Salvador, en Santa Ana, en San Miguel, en San Sonate. En Santa Tecla. En Santa Tecla, nice. Yes. Yes. Actually, you have a big house for all the family. <laughs> yeah, uh, 25 uh, people. Sobrinos, como se dice? 25 nieces and nephews. Ah, uh, 25. Oh, my Extensive. God. Yes, I see. <laughs> Very extensive. <laughs> okay. Yes. But the celebration is good. Yes, piñata, music, yes. drinks, cakes. And Dancing. Cakes, uh, yes. Food, presents, yes. balloons. <laughs> yes, nice. Well, another celebration in my family that we love to celebrate is Mother's Day because we like to commemorate. We have a lot of, well, my mom first and then uh, my my brother's wife are moms too so we have a big celebration for mother's day we eat cake we prepare a special lunch or dinner we make a lot of competitions <laughs> for getting presents for the mothers we also have mariachi singing and dancing so it's a really good celebration oh and of course giving roses and flowers right so it's really good Nice, nice beautiful. participation. Beautiful. <laughs> it's a beautiful celebration, yes. A beautiful celebration for Mother's Day. Okay. Alguien más nos va a contar. Somebody else. Oh, ustedes no miran. Los que ya participaron pueden decir names a quien quieren escuchar. <laughs> no, TJ. Well, I travel. They are my five boy holidays. Uh huh. Tell us. Miss Jennifer, creo que no sé si nos va a contar algo más o just the microphone se la apagó. Hello? Hello, hello? Oh no, there's no signal probably. Somebody else? No hemos escuchado a los caballeros. We want to listen to the gentlemen. Participate. Uh -huh. Just women celebrate holidays. <laughs> That's impossible. Okay. Tatiana. My favorite holiday is Holy Week because we have vacation and we make um, rooms with my family. Nice. You decorate all the street in front of your house. <laughs> nice. That making or constructing rugs is a hard work. Do you go to the beach on vacations? Or do you just go to the church? No, in house. In the house only. Okay, great. Congrats, congratulations for sharing. Well, we just talk about the holidays and the way we commemorate some of the holidays. That is nice, okay. But let's continue. This is a review, repaso de lo que vimos ayer para que no se les olvide. Keep it in mind. ¿Cómo estructuramos el going to? El going to es muy parecido a la estructura en español que usted dice yo voy a hacer tal cosa. For example, this weekend. Tomorrow I am going to rest. I am going to clean the house. I am going to cook a delicious dinner. I am going to wash my car. I am going to <laughs> stay at home. I am going to... Entonces, usted va a conjugar cualquiera de los sujetos, obviously, con el verb be, luego dice going to y luego dice la acción. El going to nos sirve para hablar a un futuro cercanos y cuando ya tenemos las acciones planeadas de lo que vamos a hacer, ya hemos decidido, ¿yes? 
obviously i am you are he she it is we you they are verdad so estas conjugation ya no las sabemos no podría decir yo i is that's impossible tiene que ser i am you are he is she is it is yes alguien levantó la mano tell me yes teacher mm -hmm. Eh, going to eh, no cambia eh, terceras personas, siempre será going to para no. tomar la oración. Exacto, el going to siempre se va a mantener. Lo que sí tenemos que tener cuidado con el sujeto es la conjugación del verb to be. I am, you are, luego he, she, and it, is. You, I mean, los últimos, los, los plurales, we, you, they, are. Aquí sí definitivamente yo no puedo decir you is, yes, or you am, yes, ahí sí tiene que ser el verb be, por eso la estructura se llama be going to, obviamente no puedo decir I be, you be, he be, sino que tiene que estar conjugado, I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, you are, they are, going to, y luego la acción. Mr. Mejía. I have a question. Tell me. Eh, este going to, ¿cómo sería su equivalente en español? Eh, lo que les, les mencionaba al inicio es como yo voy a, voy a hacer tal cosa. Por ejemplo, usted dice, ay, mañana voy a hacer esto, esto y eso. Entonces eso es el going to. O dice, oh, mi papá va a hacer tal cosa. Yes. Y para no confundir con el uso del I will, con el will. El going to es, por eso eh, estaba mencionando que el going to es cuando usted ya tiene planeado hacer algo. Cuando usted ya tiene planes. Y el will es como un futuro un poco más largo. Digamos, el going to usted dice, ah, yo ya sé qué es lo que voy a hacer mañana, el domingo, es el fin de semana, la siguiente semana. Y el will puede usarlo como un futuro más, más lejano. Es decir, en, dentro de un año, I will buy a house. O sea, usted está tratando de decir lo que podría pasar en el futuro, pero no está completamente seguro o no lo tiene decidido. Está tratando como de predecir. ¿Yes? Ok, teacher. Perfect. Y el going to también de manera informal, la gente en algunos estados o en, en, de manera como muy, muy informal, lo podría decir como gonna. ¿Yes? Pero es como también como decir, guau, vea, ahí te voy a traer. <laughs> Pero that's not, that's not correct. So you say, I'm going to. Yes, I am going to play, I am going to swim, I am going to wash. For example, si ustedes ya tienen decidido qué es lo que van a hacer mañana, piensen. Dos o tres cosas que ya, ya dijeron que mañana las van a hacer. Uh -huh. ¿Quién me quiere decir dos o tres cosas que ya decía uh, que voy a hacer mañana? Yes, tell me. I am going to work. I am going to work. Mm -hmm. I am going to study. study. I'm going to study. Mm -hmm. I am going to, am going to, be going to play. I'm going to play. I am going to go by writing. Uh -huh. Anybody else? Melvin? I am going to sleep tonight. I am going to sleep tonight. Yes. Uh -huh. Por ahí había alguien más. Somebody I am going one. to go short. I am going to go to the church. Uh -huh. Usted ya sabe que eso es lo que va a hacer mañana. So you already decide. So he says, I'm going to go to the church. Okay. Yami? I am going to go to a parents meeting i'm going to go to a parents meeting at school <laughs> i am going yes. to do my homework i am going to do my homework i am going to practice english i am going to uh, study the going to <laughs> i am going to complete the exercises that's great bueno eso es la estructura básica en affirmative right Ok, y aquí les pongo esto como una explicación que se usa para, obviamente, la contracción de am, puedo contractarlo con apóstrofe m, 
La contraction de is se puede contractar con apóstrofe es. And la contraction de are, apóstrofe are, ¿verdad? To talk about your intentions, cuando hay algo lo decidido. He's going to have a shower. Y esa es la estructura. ¿Cómo formularían esta oración para el picture que tenemos arriba de la lady que está ahí? Uh -huh. He's going to buy. He's going to buy. She's shopping. going to go shopping. She's going to shopping go to the shop. supermarket. Uh -huh. She's, she's going to going. go shopping at the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's going to go shopping. Just to... uh -huh. The second picture. They are going to soccer. They are going to play soccer. Exactly. Play soccer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Recuerden que siempre después del going to va un verbo. El verbo, no. yes, yes. Una yes. action. We need a verb, right? They are going to play soccer. And the last one? He's going to study. He's going to study. That's a possibility. Uh -huh. He's going to write. He's going to write. He's going to do homework. Yes. That's great. All right. Ahora, usando estas palabras, igual creamos oraciones. Scott. Scott is going to do Scott gymnastics. Is, exactly. Is, Scott is going to do gymnastics. Yes. O podemos contractar el is, ¿verdad? Y decimos, Scott's going to do gymnastics. Pero si ustedes sienten más cómodo, más fácil decir, Scott is going to do gymnastic, is perfect. ¿Ok? Las contractions no son obligaciones. ¿Ok? Usted puede contractar o no contractar. De hecho, en, de manera escrita, el inglés se sugiere que no se hagan contractions. ¿Ok? So, number two. I'm going to go cycling. I'm going to go cycling. Right. Kate. Kate are eat some going to eat Kate, some soup. Kate, Kate is exactly. Kate, Kate is going, going to, going to, to eat, eat some, some soup. Some soup. 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 Okay, ahí recuérdense que esta suena como u, no o, soup. Porque si decimos soap, ahí es jabón y no podría comer soap, <laughs> sino que es soup. Okay, so Kate is going to eat some soup. That's great. Vaya, ¿qué le tendríamos que agregar para que estas oraciones se conviertan en negative? Simplemente le agregamos el not después de la conjugación del be. Ok, entonces decimos I am not going to. I am not going to work tomorrow. Yes. I am not going to swim tomorrow. I am not going to visit my parents on Sunday. Right. Y para el is también podría ser isn't y el are podría ser aren't. Y luego todo lo demás sigue igual. ¿Yes? Y eso sería she isn't going to clean the windows. Ok. ¿Cómo nos quedaría esta ya en negative? Uh -huh. I'm not going to solve that. Internet. Exactly. I am not going to surf the internet. I am not or I'm not going to surf the internet. My dad not going to my dad is drink not coffee. going to my, drink my coffee. My dad is not drink coffee. My dad is not going to drink coffee. Usted podría decir, my dad isn't going to drink coffee. Ahí depende como usted lo quiera contratar. Este is not or isn't going to drink coffee. Yes? Harry is not going to. Harry is not going to go. Harry is not going to go to bed. 
That's right. Harry is not or isn't going to go to bed at 10 p.m. That's right. Ajá, hablando de birthdays, voy a enviar esta conversation, ¿ok? Yo sé que ustedes ya la tienen on the platform, creo, pero igual para que la practique se la voy a enviar en imagen al WhatsApp, pero ahorita solo se la voy a decir. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Como que si yo les estuviera preguntando, ay, van a hacer algo emocionante este fin de semana. Y ustedes me dicen, well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So, what are your plans? Well, my friend Kyla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Like la pizza, when they say... <laughs> like those restaurants where they sing you happy birthday. <laughs> okay, that's why I said it's so embarrassing. Okay. So practice this conversation. Okay, I'm going to read it one more time. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's on August 9th, or Sunday. So what are your plans well my friend kyla is going to take me out for dinner nice is she going to order a cake yeah and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me it's so embarrassing okay hay alguna question con este vocabulary de la conversation que quieran repasar en este momento in this moment right now yes or it's clear. Is the conversation clear? It's yes? clear. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Nice. Practice. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Repeat. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Exactly. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Are you going to do anything exciting? Lo quité a propósito para ver si lo recuerda. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Are you going to do exciting? Exciting. Anything, anything exciting anything, this weekend. Anything. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Exciting this weekend. Uh -huh. Are, Are you going, going to do anything exciting, exciting this weekend? This weekend. Yes, I am going to go to my friend's wedding. He's going to get married on Sunday. He's going to get married in a in a, in a bin, in La Paz. Yes. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? 142. Are you going? <laughs> You're going to go to a bachelor party. Uh huh. Bye. Ya les voy a mandar esa conversation para que la practiquen y la vamos a decir next class. Okay? okay. When is next class? Monday. Monday. Next Monday. 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 Next PM. Monday. <laughs> At 10 p.m. Exactly. On this channel. Practice, practice, practice. Have a good weekend. Enjoy. Have a good, wonderful weekend. And do something exciting, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye. God bless Bye. 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 Bye.